You all can stop commenting on all of our videos. We're doing it, okay? <laughs> We're here. We're talking about it. We're doing it. We appreciate the enthusiasm. Truly, genuinely, we do. But we are <laughs> We're talking about it. Don't worry. We didn't forget. We remembered. And we're here. So with that being said, hola y bienvenidos a The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay. And I am drinking a Monster Energy drink because it's that kind of day. Mm. That's where we're at. That's where we're existing. And that's where we're going to be for this. So, <laughs> And hi, y'all. I am Lana, your resident evil diva. And I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Purr. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I am currently drinking water because hydration is important. And yeah, but if I was drinking anything else, I'd be drinking out of my cup mug. Uh huh, uh huh. And you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Man, I'm gonna look up mugs. Man, I'm gonna look up mugs. I had to wake it up because David's sleepy. Uh <laughs> calling me out? <laughs> I did. I called you out. But wow. you can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch at lanagescreations.etsy.com where we do ship domestically here in the U.S. and probably in North America, period. I'm sure. Internationally? I'm not sure anymore. So we'll see. But once I figure it out, I'll let you know. But if you live in the U.S. or anywhere in North America, get your cup merch. You have no excuses, period. <laughs> well, I'm David Healy, and um, I'm tired, as Lana pointed out. <laughs> but I don't have a cute intro. <laughs> I do, however, have a cute shirt. I am wearing the lovely Miss Ivana Drink <gasps> shirt. How lovely. Which matches very well with... <gasps> My I want to drink fan. Yeah. <laughs> Which matches very well with the fact that a new host for Drag Race Down Under was announced today. Yeah. Ooh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Didn't even think about that. So. But I'm drinking some water. Ooh. Because I want to drink. Period. Sure. Uh, um, Wait. Who, who are you? Who are you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. you, you, who are you? Well, my name is Antonio. I am an opossum lover, as you can see in my cup. Mm -hmm. I'm it. a big fan of La Mas Draga since season two. And I have some tea about this episode, well, this review about the host and about the queens. Nice. So, yeah. Love it. Tony's here to help us, y'all. Look, we let's just be honest. We need the help. Let's be real. Tony is here to help us because we are going into this so blind. We know nothing. We don't know anybody. The host, we only know one of the hosts because we watched one season of Lamas. We're getting back. We're going to go back and watch the rest, but. So Tony's here to help us, and we appreciate you so much, Tony, for coming and being a part of the Cup Fam. So welcome and thank you. Thank you. Of course. So, of so course. we we've got a cast for <laughs> Solo Las Mas. Mm -hmm. Solo uh, very Lamas or Solo Las, Las Mas. Oh, okay. Las I said it correctly. Solo Las Mas. Okay. Solo Las Mas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Solo Las Mas is like Oh, Las Mas is like just the best in English. So, oh. it's like so this is just the best. Just the best. Period. Because we're bringing back people from previous seasons and another person. I do know about that, Tony. Yeah. Don't worry. I know that. <laughs> and we'll talk about <laughs> it. Um, but yes, we've got eight fabulous queens to talk about today. And we're just going to dive into that. But before we do. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we are here almost all the time giving you almost all things drag, including but not limited to La Mastraga, Drag Race, 
all of the other things as much as we can be doing and probably too much. <laughs> uh, but we're here talking about it nonetheless. We've got two other channels as well with Almost All Things Reality TV and Almost All Things Eurovision Song Contest. If you want to check those out as well, um, you could join our membership channel down below. Hit the join button on this video and on this channel. Or you can head over to Patreon, same content, different platform. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to dive in. Absolutely. And I didn't have the slideshow ready, uh -oh. but now I do. So here we go. And we're going <laughs> to... Yeah, that's, that's a better layout. That's that a is. much better layout. This uh, promo theming, I I love it. I think it's 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 very nice. It's very lovely. Um, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna talk about the hosts. We're gonna talk about the queens. Tony is gonna let us know what we need to know about everybody, and the three of us are gonna look at the looks. And say how and pretty they are. <laughs> they're so pretty. <laughs> and that's about all. So, we got to start with the hosts. So, from what I know, Tony, it's every host that they've had for Lamas so far is somehow being represented on Solo Las Mas. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's been six seasons and there's six hosts. Mm -hmm. Do we I know how? Cool. I was going to say, I see more than six. <laughs> so what do we need oh, to know about yeah. these people? What do we need to know about these people? Um, do you want me to talk about every uh, every person like in detail or just something like, oh, she's that and she's that? Tell us what season of these people, what season they're from, and so we know what season each host is from. Oh, okay. So, um, first, the uh, first one from left is a uh, makeup artist named Alonso Weitzman. He's like a very famous makeup artist that uh, works from Televisa and other like. Uh, TV programs. He's very he's very famous in Mexico. Okay. Then we okay. have Lolita Cortez. She's like mother. She's like um, if you want a drama in a reality TV show, you need Lolita Cortez because Ooh. she she throws shade at everyone. She's like um, she's very like she's not she will not try to be nice. She will be like. Nah, they they right. Oh, we like the okay. villain. We like a good villain. Period. <laughs> he mother. And and he used mother. Y'all heard mother. She so. looks very motherly. She she looks yeah. Okay. Word. Okay, Great. Go ahead. okay. Um then we have Carla Diaz. She's the host of season three. And she was part of a Mexican uh, pop group called uh, Jeans. Okay. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. Yes. I've heard that before. Okay. We have uh, Marisol Gonzalez. She was the host of season six. And I think she was Miss Universe. I don't remember the year, but she was Miss Universe um, representing Mexico. Oh, okay. Um, then we have in the promo they say they it was uh, Luis Torres, but Luis Torres uh, is not her. Um, the queen who is in in the middle is Abiesco. And I didn't even know that was a person at first. I thought that was, <laughs> it looked like a hand. So I said there were eight people, but there are nine people. That is a human. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Abiesco. Um, you might know you might not know her, but you know her her work because she's friends with Galavaro from Drag Race Mexico season one. Love so, uh, um, some looks of Galavaro were made by Abies. Oh, and okay. she's like, uh, she's like a very, uh, she's probably the most like famous designer for drag queens, and in this moment, okay, yeah. Sure. And she's a, um, she's, a have, Lama, she's a Lamas winner, right? 
Yeah, I didn't want to oh, say no. that. Oh no! Oh no! Spoiler! Whatever! 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 No. It was probably going to be revealed on the season anyway. Let's be honest; they're probably going to talk about it. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for being considerate, Tony. Thanks. I was say somebody. <laughs> no thanks to Logan. Logan. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we move. Oh. Uh, Next to her, we have Lorena Herrera. Um, she's like a model, singer, but not professional singer. She sings. Like, she makes like gay music, just like RuPaul, like um, not nothing seriously. Okay. And she was the host for season one. She is really shady. Okay. Uh, she said in in a live on Instagram that she didn't want to host another season of La Mas Draga because. It has gone too big that uh, maybe fans could not have uh, done her. Like, her comments are shady, so she's not like she doesn't want to be on there anymore. It's like this special season, but not in, a, not, not in another season. Mm -hmm. um, also, okay. I want to say. I got a call. <laughs> it's oh, you're fine. The next one looks yeah, like Alan uh, coming to me. <laughs> Lorena also. Um, so Lorena, you said you have one more thing oh, about Lorena. Yeah, um, she is very similar to Katya from Drag Race, and Katya okay. knows about that. Um, Katya has said like um, fans have called. Um, Katya, like a Lorena Herrera impersonator, because both of them look very similar. Oh, okay. so that's like a, a little joke we have in the Mexican fandom. Okay. Then we have we have Maca Carriero, uh, the host of season five. She's like um, she's not like uh, how can I say it? It's like oh. Let me check my notes because I don't know how to say it in English. She's like a, <laughs> a host of radio shows. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> we have uh, Vanessa Claudio. She's like uh, also a host for reality, like morning news. Okay. And we have Roberto Carlo. Uh, host of season four, who also is like a uh, host of morning like TV shows. Okay. And there's supposed to be Luis Torres, uh, also another makeup artist, but I think he wasn't available to film the promo, but mm. he's gonna be in the season. Oh, okay. Cool. This is an interesting group of this is an interesting group of um hosts, I will say. They look they looked apart. They all came very looking the part in um yeah. this is a cute little promo. Not gonna lie, it's a cute little promo. They look good. They look good. For sure. I wonder if we're gonna have like Veneno and Venenito and uh I can't remember all of them back. Yeah, uh, Veneno, Toxico and Venenito. Great. Cool. They Good. Would like fucking at them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Well, that's the house. Should we just talk about the queens? Because that's really what I'm down. That's really what we're that's here, what we're here for. for. That's what I'm so, here for, honestly. And I have to say, this group promo it's good. looks good. This group promo is good. I looks like someone didn't get the memo. <laughs> I know. Or somebody oh. did get the memo and was like, was I don't intention. care about the memo. That's kind of what I'm thinking. From what she said in her video, I'm fully on believing that she got the memo and was like, mm, nah. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm gonna stand out. <laughs> Absolutely. Because like she it. is the fashion girl. And she says, oh, everybody God. wants to be the fashion girl, but they can't be because it's me. That's what she said in the promo video. And I was like, oh, <laughs> all right, mama, period, period, period. So I think Miss Ma'am was like, oh, y'all want me in all gold? No. No. I'll put on some gold. 
but not all though. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm living for it actually. I love it. Are they all one word names or is that just how they're shown on the top here? That's it's, how they're shown on top. On the top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We've got their we've got their names on their slides. So we've got Let's so we know them. we will know who they are. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute for us to recognize everybody, but so going in alphabetical oh. order, we are starting with Seifer. You from... started you started with the right one because this is who I like. Hey, the I most. started with the alphabetical order. So um, <coughs> And from what I know from reading the Wikipedia, thank you, thank you, Fandom Wiki. Uh, Seifer was from season four and was the runner-up of the season. Woo. So, Tony, what do we need to know? She's the fan favorite of La Mas de Daga. Okay. Is it all the whole show? franchise? Yeah, she's the most followed queen. Like, she has been... Uh, she, well, she was nominated in... Uh, 2021 for an MTV Meow of best like you know, reality competitor. Oh wow! And she, she is one of the fashion queens of La Mas Draga. Like she is like very cosplay. Also, she is like uh, the first international contestant on La Mas Draga. So okay. she, ah, uh, she is she is from the House of Sleeper now House of Art, and she is like boyfriend of Anne Crossart from season six. We love Ankh. We, we love Ankh. Mm-hmm. A lot. A <laughs> lot. We love Ankh. Yeah. I, this is the one. This was the one that I watched the videos and I was like, I feel like I'm going to like her. I hope my heart is not hurting at the end of the season that, that she does something to say it's some things that I don't like. But right now, that's the one. I love this outfit, number one. Let's talk about her. Look. Love this look on her. I love the big prop gavel that she has. This wig, I'm loving. Like, she's giving us, like, all this gold is beautifully, beautiful gold. And then she was like, and then I'm going to give you a pop of color. It's still gold, but then this pink in the middle right here. It's just, I feel like that's just her and her playfulness. But this is an incredible promo look. This is an incredible promo look. She looks good and like i said from the video i was instantly drawn to her i don't know what it was but i really like her yeah i thought that was a pro uh, like a digital um gavel in there nope. i didn't realize that was real and i just pulled up her instagram and mm-hmm. she's got a bunch of pictures with it yep. i'm like okay sh- she's bringing like the extra so i'm already intrigued because you know mm-hmm. i love when people go all out and go big with drag which is why I like Lama so much because so many of them do it. Um, and also I know for from experience that um, some of the runners up are some of the best ones <laughs> because I definitely really loved all three of the runners up last season. Um, yes, so. we know. You get it. You didn't want Katriana to win. She we get still, it. We she understand. was still very good and she, she had a great finale. But man, those she other sure three. And had, that's why she won. Okay. Other three had a very strong season <laughs> period. <laughs> so, on. Ain't nobody talking about your dear, <laughs> sweet Catriona. We know. <laughs> we get it. Pull it back. Exactly. Exactly. So <laughs> now you all have me excited for uh, Miss Seifer here. Yes. Yeah. I love this promo. I love this promo. Tony, what, what, do, you, what do you think of the promo? Odd. Uh, like this is art Sasha Baloo was talking about, I think. She's like, you're gonna you need to expect like um cosplay things from her and also fashion things like she's like a kind of uh, cosplay and fashion queen. So it's gonna be something different than we have seen before. Oh, I'm excited. Good. I, I love a good cosplay queen and I now knowing um, that she's dating Ankh and how much we talked incessantly over the season about how much we wanted to see Ankh on the show, how we wanted them to do better than they did. Um, I'm very excited for Seifert. This promo is everything to me. Oh, it's oh, it's so good. It's the how, wig for me too, Lana. Yeah, it's the wig for me. It's how mad wig. we were seeing Ankh's looks 
at an elimination show and was Especially like that blue look. He's like all these looks that were uh, make, we missed this on the show with Ankh, and it was like ah, oh, it's so good. But it, uh, I can't wait to see Seifer, and I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Very excited. Um, do you want to do scores for the promo? Oh, oh, well, let me get my life together. I ain't never was going, but all right. We don't have to. We we usually score. We, we, we usually score. this is casual though, Lana. We're not gonna keep track of this. So oh, we're not gonna put it in the in the, nah, in the sheet. Don't, no, we don't do that with promos. Okay. All right. But we can still score it. All right. Well, then I won't. Who should start? Tony? We should let Tony start. Sure. Oh, yeah. I don't want my first call to be like, oh, you're going to say like you love all the queens, but I love her. Ooh. It's all the full cup she deserved, Tony, because I was mm-hmm. going to give it to her too. Period, period, period. Don't wait your turn, Lana. I, you know what? Maybe turn. it was Lana's turn. <laughs> it is you know Lana's turn. Maybe we're going to oh, go going Tony and then we're going to go Lana. How about that? Maybe we're going to do that, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I'm just kidding. But go ahead, go ahead. David. I'm gonna give her 95. I'm gonna give her a room to grow. She can grow with the full. <laughs> um, I am also actually gonna give her 95. Okay. Me and Tony are the ones who are gonna be very excited about this, one. and y'all can be I'm excited. I'm excited. Me and Tony are very excited, and y'all are just excited. As if I just hand out 95. I know. I know. <laughs> exactly. That's well, true, in Lamont, true. you do. No, I guess. Well, I'm about to say, you get more frequently with your high scores in Lamont. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So, next up, we have Georgiana, uh, also from season four, uh, placed eighth slash ninth. So, okay. I'm interested on our rewatch eventually to see how that happens. Uh, she was you also. She went out on the double. <laughs> okay, well, maybe there was something else involved. I don't know, Lana. Anyway, um, she was also La Mas Votada and La Mas Querida of season four. So, Tony, what do we need to know about Georgiana? She's bringing the drama. She's like, she Ooh. likes to do the part. So, okay. you know, uh-huh, you need to expect drama from her. Um, she's like uh, the first uh, social media queen, I think, on La Mas Draga. Um, she was like a baby drag when she sent her audition to La Mas Draga. And a lot, of, a lot of people hated her for that because they say like, oh, you're not a uh, drag queen, you're just an influencer. But she made, um, she won, well, fan favorite because in La Mas Draga there are no externalities, there are fan favorites. Well, this is making me nervous because uh, I remember who brought the drama last season. Mm-hmm. I remember who was fan favorite last season. Mm-hmm. Um, am I gonna like her? <laughs> <Maybe> <laughs> I might not. I uh, I might not. Uh, but I think I, I do, will. I do really like this look. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, I was just looking at her Instagram, watching it like twirl on her. Mm-hmm. Just all like there's so much detail in this. So I will say. I like this look more than um, than some of those people that I'm worried about from last season. Uh, so I don't know if, if she's the drama, if she can be unlikable. As long as she's bringing really good looks like this, I'll let it slide. <laughs> I mean, oh, go ahead. I mean, I feel like even if she is the drama. If she's the good type of drama, like it's the entertaining drama that I like. I don't like the petty, mean spirited drama, but if she go bring just, you know, just picking a little bit here, you know, poking it, poking the bear a little bit there and just making it good for TV, then I'm here for it. But if she's just mean and downright just nasty with it, then okay. But this look ain't nothing mean and downright. It is downright nasty. This is a good. Look, this look is so good. I, I I did too, David. I watched the Instagram and watching it move. I was like, that's sickening. And it's like we've seen people do try to do some carousel looks or something of that nature. This is just done right. And it's so pretty. The details are impeccable. I'm a fan of this look. And I want to say I want to be a fan of Miss Georgina. Georgiana. Georgiana. 
But um, yeah, this is good. And her mug is mugging. It's cute. It's cute. That was the first thing I noticed was the mug. And mm-hmm. I, I, she, she's, she's a pretty girl. Good. I can tell she's a pretty girl. And the pretty girls do like to bring the drama. So I I I like someone that's gonna bring the drama, but also bring the look. So I'm very, I'm very interested, very excited for her as well. The way this spins Mm -hmm. is Mm -hmm. a damn carousel. Mm -hmm. It's a damn carousel. I'm sold. Mm -hmm. I'm sold. Yep. (sighs) Yeah. (laughs) I feel like I'm gonna be pulling out some cups a lot. (laughs) Promo. I hate that, but I might. But it's the quality of this promo. Let's be honest here. Right. So, but yes, of course. Tony, did we get Tony's thoughts on this look? Uh, Tony went oh. first. Oh, oh. Did you? oh, he told us about Georgia. Yeah. But what do you think about the look, though, Tony? Um, just because I saw Ariel's look uh, first, like before this. Um, I just I'm giving her an ninety because um, I don't like that much the color. I like Ariel's. Um, she did a similar thing in the Masdraga stage, mm-hmm. um, but it's cute. Love it. Well, um, I'm gonna give her ninety three. I'm gonna give her ninety six. Solid. Great. Great. I forgot what word we were saying. <laughs> um, I am going to give her a 90 with room to grow because I like this. So mm-hmm. we'll go with that. I feel like it's going to be a lot of 90s or higher in this. because I'm, I'm sure. She's giving me a good hat moment too. So I'm here for Oh, it. yes. Absolutely. Let's move mm-hmm. to Gavardo. Gavardo, am I saying that right? Um, Guajardo. Guajardo. Like, okay, got yeah. it. Guajardo. Uh, from yeah. season from season two, third place. What do we need to yeah. know? She's the first villain of La Mas Draga. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. So she was like, uh, she was a secret contestant on La Mas Draga season two. Um, producers like to have like a live audition and secret contestants. And Guajardo was like a big name at the time. But um, if you, you probably you probably see the track record and she didn't do that well on her season. Mm-hmm. At the finale, she bombed like, um, there was like, um, I don't think it, it, that's a spoiler, but from season one to season four, like um, producers filmed like all of the finalist uh, crownings, and Guajardo's crowning was like I mean because she did so bad at the finale that oh she's like um, she says a, a phrase in the promo that she's like um, I want everything, referencing her final performance because she did a song called Yo Ya No Quiero Nada, uh, which means like, I don't want anything. Oh, it was a really bad performance. Yeah. And now she, like, she referenced that name and it's iconic, love, uh, to be honest. Okay. Okay, well, so this, this is why we have Tony here because that was the tea I needed to hear. <laughs> like I needed that tea. <laughs> Yes. Well, we we love a villain who has a good downfall. So. <laughs> and hey, we Not also love plotting a... for her downfall. <laughs> no, okay. no, I'm saying she had one. She already had her downfall. Okay, okay. Now <laughs> she gets to have a redemption moment. Absolutely. Maybe. Oh, uh, so actually, in a Master Dragon, she didn't have like a redemption, but she had a redemption in Love for the Arts, a drag competition made by Trinity the Talk, oh. winner of all. Yes. yes. Um, her and Margaret Illa from Drag Race Mexico competed and Guajardo won that, that competition. So she's uh, like, she's gonna bring some villain looks. She's gonna bring like, she's go- also gonna bring like good looks. I don't think it's like fashion looks, but it is good looks. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm excited. Uh, the first thing I thought, and I know it's bad to compare queens, but the first thing I thought when I saw her was like, oh, Juana Guadalupe. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> I did too. I did okay. the same okay. thing. Uh, but I think this is so pretty. And I just went to her Instagram to look at it a little bit more. And there's this video, and I don't know if it is a filter or what, but the amount this is like sparkling, is it really that shiny? Because that's like, ridiculously shiny probably yeah. so i'm super impressed with this like just looking at how glittery it is like and it's a it's a stunning dress this is really really good it looks stunning it looks heavy so i'm like work that you got to put on that heavy dress and go perform in that it's just it's uh, that whole elizabethan kind of century kind of look is something that I just always like anyway. I would never want to wear it because I'm like, it looks very uncomfortable, but it's so stunningly beautiful that I'm like, anybody who does it, I'm like, yeah, it's work. I love the detailing. And I think that is very, I think that's true. I think the glitter is real and it's very sparkly like that indeed. But because in the other picture that I found of this, it was, very sparkly and I was like oh that's nice so the detail work on this alone is like this should be like a finale look and this is your promo look I'm excited to see what is to come and what she's going to bring and this wig with the feather it's Mm -hmm. this is just this is a good one this is a good one yeah, I'm excited. I really, I really love this promo. I love that kind of, like you were saying, Lana, that big Elizabethan sort of silhouette, mm-hmm. big, everything is like, it, it feels very excessive in the best way. Yeah. Um, all of the details are here. The mug is incredible here. And I did take a look at her social media as well to see a little bit more. Um, I'm very impressed. And I'm excited to see more from Wajardo. Tony, what do you think of this promo? I need to give another cool cap. <laughs> Just because this range, like, since I've been a fan of La Mas Draga and hearing that phrase, it was like, wow, iconic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think this is my favorite so far. I'm going to give it a 97. Yeah. I think I'm going match 97. I think I'm going to go on the side of Tony here, and it's going to be a full cup. Mm-hmm. For me. Word. Word. That's where, that's where I'm going. I, this is my favorite so far. I got and another I, one coming, think, and I'm like. I know. That's where I'm like, there are <laughs> there's another one coming, and I'm like, like whoa, whoa. Uh-huh. Well, next up, Madison Basre. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, from season three, she's the runner-up. Okay. So, what what's the tea on Madison? Do we hate her? Do we love her? No. <laughs> <laughs> you love her. Oh. You mm-hmm. love her. Um, at her season, there was like season three was um, like you couldn't expect looks on season three, but drama was mm-hmm. everywhere. Like. Um, she at the time was hated because uh, Queens made rumors about her being like one of production's favorite. And people hated her like in that time, but after La Mastraga, she became a fan favorite. And yeah, she's like, she is. Um, Kelly Caracas said like she was the first trans girl, and Madison was. She didn't come out as trans when she was in her season, but after that, she was like the first trans uh, girl on a master Aga. Work, okay. Mm-hmm. Come on, trans and that, representation. And uh, I'll be honest, as soon as you pulled up this picture, I'm like, that that's a woman. That is not mm-hmm. just a drag queen. I'm mm-hmm. getting full woman. Absolutely. So even I just Googled her name and I saw like trans like as one of the first search results and i'm like okay "Okay, yeah yeah my instincts were right about you um she's so pretty she's like stunning in the face um and i i don't know what her package was like on her first season but part of me is like i bet you could be a girl that can look good in just about anything 
Um, with that said, I don't want her to rest on her laurels. Yes. Um, I want her to go hard. I So far, I don't think she's going as hard as some of the others here. Um, I really do like the like structured bodice here. It looks really good. I'm not the biggest fan of like a tulle skirt. It's not bad, though. She still looks very pretty. It's just not like next level, you know? And, and I hope she brings some next level stuff. Yeah. Oh, so she can bring variety because she's like um, kind of a, she's similar to Christian Peralta, winner of Drag Race Mexico. She is like a celebrity impersonator, so she can give you pretty, okay. but she can give you like variety. A transformista? Transformista? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. I got it. David I remembered David something. Spanish, I'm <laughs> proud of you, David. I'm proud of you, David. A transformista? <laughs> no. 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 Then you ruin it. But no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was, this picture came up and I was like, okay. But the other picture that they have of her, it was a closer picture of her. Mm -hmm. Super stunning. Gorgeous. Or Gina. Like, it was so good. And like, I think you would like the other picture, David, because yeah. 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 But I was oh, like the only reason I didn't use those photos is because she was laying down. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Plus plus these had their names on names them. And I was like, that's well. gonna be very convenient for us that don't know Eddie and these right. people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I thought she was gorgeous and then I was like I agree with you. I don't think this is the better look out of all the looks that we are seeing, but it's pretty. It's pretty. I, and she's pretty, and she knows she's pretty. I Like you said, don't rest on your beauty, boo. I want to see you push it and show us that you can be ugly, but still stunning. You know what I mean? Like, give us all of it. I hope she is going to give us something this season, but she scored just I really like this profile. I agree with y'all. I don't think it's um I don't think it's the most dramatic. I don't think it's the most over the top promo. Unlike David, I do like a tool skirt. Mm -hmm. uh, this one feels a little, I don't know, a little wrinkly at the top. I'm not there, it seems like there's layers here and I can see the layers and I don't know that I want to see the layers on it. But regardless, I think the bodice of the dress itself is is gorgeous. She's stunning. Um, and if you're saying she's uh, a celebrity impersonator, I'm excited to see, you know, because Christian did very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know celebrity impersonators to do fairly well on a lot of these drag programs. So I'm very excited to see what she's going to bring. I I'm excited to see Madison in all of it. That's mm -hmm. what I'm most excited to see. So, Tony, what do you think of the promo? What's your score? All that lovely. Oh, just because I wanted some like more volume on the top, I'm giving I'm giving her like a ninety. But wow. she looks very good. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'll give her an eighty-eight. I'm gonna match Tony's ninety. I too will be matching Tony's ninety. <laughs> David, <laughs> David, David. Like eighty-eight. That's fine. Uh -huh. Anyway. No good. anyway, from one person from season three to another person from season three, <laughs> uh, this is Rudy Reyes, uh, third place from season three. Tony, you know the drill by now. What's the tea? <laughs> oh, I forgot when you say like third place. Um, La Mas Draga usually like the producers have like their second places like they announced like if a winner of the Mass Draga doesn't make like if if a winner is not available they have like their second placement. So yes. Madison and Cipher, uh, who we previously talked about are uh, the official like uh, second places mm -hmm. for the producer. Oh, okay. Um Rudy Radio um looks not like She's not gonna give you like she's not the fashion queen, but she is the lip sync assassin of her the season. Like okay. she can give you um she's also I don't know if she's like all into celebrity impersonator, but she makes a good Beyonce. She looks like Beyonce if she wants okay. like 
Okay. And uh, she looks very, very fit. <laughs> I'm oh. like, uh, you may be one of the most athletic queens I've seen. Like, even like looking at her arms here, those pecs. I'm like, okay, very interesting. Um, yeah, but I, I think this is a really cool look. Um, like I said, I like big over the top, and we're getting it. I'm not exactly sure what she's going for here, but just like the the whole structured part in the back, especially. Um, I just really like it. It's it's very attention catching. Uh, it's drawing my eye. So uh, that's what I like, and that's what I like in Lamas. So I think she looks really good. Yeah. Um, so is... about that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I you guys. <laughs> um, about about her look, um, she considers herself as La Perla del Caribe, like the the pearl of the Caribbean. Okay. So her white lips is like a pearl, and the structure behind her is like the Yeah. Oh. Okay. Love it. Okay. All right. Let's see, that's why we have Tony here to tell us what we <laughs> don't know. So she is the pearl, and she's the clamp. Got it. That's a cute look. It works. It works. It makes sense. Um, I love the mermaid uh, dress. And I'm like, yeah, she is very fit, and the arms are swollen. And I was like, okay, work. I was like, Jesus, I'm I'm impressed and embarrassed at the same time. I'm like, I need to go to the gym. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Yeah, I I don't know what to expect from Rudy, and she was one of the ones on the video. I was like, hmm, hmm, fascinating, but um. I'm interested to see what she's all about. I'm I'm intrigued. I like hearing that she's a lipstick assassin. I'm excited mm -hmm. for that. Um, this look is not one of my favorites, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I do like the big, uh, the clam shell in the background. And I love that she's referencing herself with this promo as she's calling herself the pearl of the um she's calling herself the pearl i like that sort of callback situation um i don't love the top part of this gown i don't know what's happening with like the nude illusion or however the the top of the garment is made that is I'm not no loving... illusion that's just chest well no yeah. it looks it looks like there's like stripes happening that's just chest and gold Never mind then. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Um, I just wish there was a bit more drama in the gown itself. Mm, okay. If, if the focal piece is going to be the big, the big clamshell, I get it. Cool, love it. I just want the dress to kind of match that level of drama. That's what I'm missing from this for okay. for Rudy. But she looks good. This so. is a man. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh my. Oh. oh my indeed. And there's a lot of that on Instagram. Okay. All um, right. I'm excited to see Rudy out of drag a lot. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Follow. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. I'll see you, David. I feel you. I was I was gonna wait to after the program, but David's like <laughs> They was Tony, like, oh, wait. Tony, give us your scores. What do you think of the of the promo look? I mean, it's good, but it's not the good as my other queens. Like uh, the other queens I have as my favorite. So I'm gonna give her an 85. I mean, it's not a bad look, but it's not like um, it didn't catch my attention mm -hmm. too much. It sounds like you hate it. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh. Look, wow, Tony hates the look. Okay. Oh, I mean, Tony I mean, hates I... Rudy confirmed. No, okay. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at Rudy right now. I'm feeling very full. Uh, yeah. but, <laughs> but I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this a 91. I still really like it. <laughs> I am on the side of Tony with this. So I'm kind of like, eh. It's good, but it's not my favorite. I will give it an 83. Uh, I'm going to give this an 85. 
because that's where I'm at with it. I see you, Tony. I see you, Rudy, and you, Tony. <laughs> of course, you see Rudy. Yeah, of course you see Rudy. Of, of course. course you do. <laughs> anyway, next up, Sirena. Now she stood out to me. She is from season four. She stood out to me because she's the only person on this cast. That didn't make it far on her season. Uh, she got 12. Oops. So, but she's beautiful. So, Tony, what happened with Sidena? So, um, in season four, it was like maybe episode four. We have like, a, we had a design challenge. And not only a design challenge, but uh, one person came like bringing like jewels to the queens and there were there was like a field between her and that person mm -hmm. so the judges didn't like that field and they put her in the bottom and she was eliminated but okay. her wrongly package was like really good like in Tula's Trace she was the queen of Tula's Trace that season okay. mm -hmm. so Usually, like, this is the second time um, her promo is not that good, but her one looks are really good. And she's also a celebrity impersonator. She makes, like, Lady Gaga oh. and the other queens. Um, actually, there was some drama because before season six uh, when, uh, was airing, Sirena was, like, uh, it was leaked that Sirena was part of the cast because one drag queen like exposed her for not paying some weeks and Serena said like um the weeks were not like uh, good like yeah they were bad like they were trash the weeks uh -huh. so she didn't pay them for the weeks and they exposed her oh so, yeah Ooh. okay <laughs> drama 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 is okay. this whole cast just drama um, the whole cast is drama, okay. and the whole cast is from Monterrey. Like this is Monterrey versus the world. Like oh, New York. I've heard America. that. I've heard that. There's only I, what? There's like two or three girls that on this cast total that have like no connection to Monterrey, right? Yeah, like uh, it's like the race when where some queen says like, "Oh, I'm from New York." It's the same in La Madraga where the kids say like, oh, I am from Monterrey. And okay. in this cast, like, uh, only two queens are not related to Monterrey, Cifer and Sirena. Everyone, okay. everyone else is like from Monterrey. Okay. Yes, Monterrey versus the world. Great. Well, got, it. got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I really like this. Um, I So when I first saw this, the first queen i thought it was like oh Alyssa edwards because i see a little bit of Alyssa edwards here i think it might be the, like the structure of the wig but i really like it it almost feels like uh ariel from the little mermaid grew up to be king triton um so i i think it's really good like it's it's not the most extravagant over the top but it's very very effective at what it is and honestly i need to stop looking at their instagram yes, because do. I do why, cause... this one I'm like, are you even like uh, representing that you are a a drag queen? Because it's mostly these. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, hello, Serena. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Logan is gonna hate me. Oh, <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did the same thing, David. I looked at the Instagram, was like, okay, this is. This is gonna be a problem for <laughs> I'm gonna have a problem with the two of you with this cast and <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. Um it's gonna be a problem, but I'll happily take on this problem because they're gorgeous and this is gorgeous to me. I love like I say, it, it's not full of drama, but it's doesn't to me this one doesn't have to be because it's so perfectly made and structured like it's beautiful i love the concept i love this red wig i love the flowiness of it it's just, it's giving this wig is wigging for sure for sure and her mug is stunning like 
Uh, it's just good. It's just good. I couldn't agree with you more, Lana. I th- This brings the drama that I want without it being the big, over-the-top, like, voluptuous sort of silhouettes mm-hmm. that we've been getting from some of the other promos. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. I think it's very clean, effective. It's very Alyssa Edwards. Clean, concise. I don't remember the rest of the quote, but that quote. Um, she looks gorgeous. And I'm not going to go thirst follow her yet. Always an after show. It's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing afterwards. Great. <laughs> Tony, what do you think? What's your score? Um, just because I am used to big looks, I'm going to give her a 70 because she can give very good looks. But this is like, mm-hmm. um, this doesn't represent, like, it's her brand, Mermaid uh, Sirena, but um, she can give more than this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I like it quite a bit more, I think. Um, I give her 89. Yeah, I like it maybe a few bit more than David. So I'm giving it a 94. Um, I'm going to give this an 88. Okay. We'll go 88. Yeah, Tony, you're the bad guy here. You are the bad guy here. Wow, mm-hmm. Tony. Wow, Tony. Doesn't like Serena. No. <laughs> <laughs> my earphones died and <laughs> my Spotify just oh, started no. putting Ritmito. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not this. It's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> not, the, not all the signs. <clears throat> okay. Uh huh. Next up, Soto Nasty uh, from season two, fifth place. What do we need to know? You are muted, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, welcome it to the club. To we call. Heard guys. It we happens to all, all of us. Yeah. Yeah. So there are many ways to get casted on La Mas Draga, and Solo Nasty uh, is a special kind of way. That she got casted on La Mas Draga. <laughs> Maybe I'm the villain. <laughs> <laughs> so. Maybe, Tony. It's okay. It's it happens fine. to all of us indeed. It really does. Um, Soro Nasty won a local drag competition, and one of the prizes for that was getting casted on La Mas Draga, and oh. she did. Uh, she is the first like fashion queen of La Mas Draga. Uh, I mean, Spanish is like Chica de la Moda. I am the villain. I'm gonna uh, power. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fine, Tony. We You're get good, it. Tony, don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I like her, and she knows how to take a good photo. Like she has like some photos where she's in this look. And it just looks like that looks oh, so stunning. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, Tyra is handing you the photo first. Great. <laughs> um, wow. Like, I think this is a pretty simple look. Like, a simple but good. Um, but she really knows how to work it. She knows how to model it. She's got a beautiful face. Um, I really don't know what to expect from her. So, hmm. I, I, I like her, though. I like her. Oh no! Oh, Not no, you pulling Lana, a Tony. Lana, Lana pulled a Tony. <laughs> I wanted to make Tony feel like he was not alone. <laughs> not Solidarity. Solidarity. I'm back again. Um, excuse me. It was my sister, and she was the one who gave me like the call. So, yeah. Um, I, what was I saying? I think you uh, she was the- like the. She's like the fashion queen, like the first fashion queen. And the thing about her promo look is that this is like a last minute, last minute choice because um, it's funny because you don't see that in Drag Race, but La Mas Draga queens and designers are not like in good terms, are not like best friends. Every season, like there's a queen that say, oh, my designer, my designer like didn't de- do the look for me. And that's like 
uh, in every season, stuff like that happens. And it's the first time this season that this happened. Wow. Not a great oh, yeah. start. <laughs> oh. Bad, socks. Bad designers. Bad designers. Like, and yes, Tony, I think your sister might be the villain. It might not be you. <laughs> sister. I think she's sabotaging you. And and while you were gone, Tony, I did the same thing you did. Talked on you just in solidarity. <laughs> I did that for you, though. I yes. wanted you not to be alone. Yes, of course. Because, of course, I know to come off of mute. All right. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but this, this one, like I said, I quoted her thing, her her video. She was like, I am the most girls want to be fashion, the fashion girl, but they can't because it's me. And I was like, yes, I liked her. I liked her from the start. And this gown is beautiful. It may be simple, but it's simply simple and elegant and stunning. It fits her to perfection. Like, it's giving body and it's it's good. Her mug is <sighs> mug is mugging. Yeah. Her mug is mugging. So I, I like this for for the fashion girly. This makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? This makes sense for the fashion girl because it's like she's not gonna do too much unless it's a good Hulk couture look. Mm -hmm. She won't give you too much, but she's gonna give you just enough to make you go ooh. Ooh, I can see it working a one way. I can see this working a one way. I'm kind of happy that whatever designer fell through for her did because this is my favorite promo. Ooh. And I think I love it the most because it's so different. Mm. And I, I love hearing about, well, I don't love hearing about, you know, designers flaking, flaking out on, on queens. I don't like that. But if this is what she came up with because of that scenario, hey, it makes her stand out for me in the best way in this. It's simple. It's such a simple and clean silhouette done in the absolute best way. I love all of the gold fabric at the bottom uh, of the dress. All of the detailing is gorgeous. These gloves with the cutouts, gorgeous. This, uh, all of it. Yes. Yes. You know, I just realized we did not talk about her golden fallopian tubes down there. <laughs> I wasn't going to acknowledge it, David. <laughs> you know, maybe she made a choice here. No, that is hilarious. I, I actually love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, I was like, what is it? <gasps> oh, those uh -huh. fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tony, what's your score? What do you think of the promo? Uh, just because uh, it didn't match the other promos, uh, promos, um, I'm gonna give her a 95. But this is like iconic. If it was like mostly golden, it would be a full cup. Understood. Understood. Um, I like it. This is a good score. I'm giving her an 82. <sighs> I because it doesn't match the other girls and doesn't match the other promo and it stands out on its own, I'm giving it a full cup because I like it just because it does not match the other girls. And for that exact same reason, <laughs> me too, Lana. Me too. Yeah, I just do. It's just, she stands out in the best possible way. Definitely. Definitely. And our last queen we get to talk about here is Velveteen from not a season of La Mas Draga. Nope. Now, Tony, I know a little bit about the journey Miss Velveteen has been on, but let us know how many times did she audition <laughs> for the show and not make it? What's the tea with that? Um, she was, uh, she competed on the live auditions for season two of La Mas Draga and she didn't go, she didn't do a good job. So she wasn't cast and she is like the queen that everyone wants to, wants her to be on La Mas Draga. Like it was season three that people say like, oh, she's a secret contestant. She's going to be on La Mas Draga and she wasn't. Then season four, oh, she's going to be a secret contestant. And she wasn't like, and the years came by and she wasn't on a mass draga. But she was like uh, at gigs, like pride events and stuff like that. 
but like she wasn't, she didn't compete in any season of La Mas Draga. And she, she, uh, Soro Nasty and Guajardo are like really good friends. Uh, they were doing like a fashion for a review kind of thing okay. for La Mas Draga. Okay. And yeah, her and Guajardo and Soro did like, um, they were like very popular at the time for that show. Hmm. I love that she hasn't been on the show yet, but they put her on this. I Bro, love that, honestly. How, how? Okay. But that just says something about her. And since this is like the best, mm -hmm. apparently she's just the best, but she just ain't been on the show. And I'm like, if she that good and she is the best, why ain't she been on the show? I'm looking at the producers with a side eye like, <laughs> what you mean? You ain't put her on the show. But then you go put her on the show that's called the best? App? Like, what? She should have been on a season. And she is, man, if she come out and she, like, kill this thing, I'm literally looking at all the producers who passed on her before and, like, there's something wrong with y'all. Something wrong with y'all. But I'm excited because she ain't been on the show. So don't nobody know what to expect from her. And I'm excited to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very interesting. So at first when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm ready to talk about one of my favorite promos. I'm like, okay, this is probably going to be a front runner. But now I'm nervous. <laughs> now I'm nervous, especially because I don't I don't know anything about the format of this show. Um, maybe we'll talk about that later if there is tea out there. But I don't know if it's going to be non-elimination or at least for a while non-elimination. And I'm like, I really hope she's not being cast just to be like a sacrificial early out that would really suck and she's the only one so far like i've been going to their instagram so i can see their promo look better she's the only one now that i'm like let me look at some of the other looks as well to see if it's up to the standard and she's got some really good looks so um i'm i'm a little surprised by this whole situation but i'm hoping it works out for her because that's a really cool story if she is overlooked so many times and she just comes here and kills it. So I'm rooting for her now. And I really like this look. This is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, and I have some tea about that. Uh, the producers of La Mas Draga uh, wanted three people to be like secret contestants, but only Velveteen um, was like in the actual cast. So there was one queen that you already know. It is Pitsy Pitsy from Drag Race Mexico. I heard about that. She got the call to be part of this season of Todas Las Mas, Solo Las Mas, I mean. But she was already on Drag Race Mexico, so she couldn't be part of the cast. And there was other queen, but she was too busy because she made a name for herself. And she's really famous right now. But so Velveteen is like the only secret contestant this season. I mean, not that secret because we already know if she's there, but yeah. Yeah. I had heard about Pixie Pixie. Oh, well, now I wish she did this. <laughs> well, okay, me too. <laughs> I, I really wish she would have did this because I think she would have been more appreciated over here than she mm -hmm. was over there. I ain't gonna lie. But Especially like, since this is so look focused and that's Pixie's. Story. Right. Yeah. And and I feel like Pixie would have like had more time from to get over her grief that she had mm -hmm. losing her dad so soon and going into drag race was kind of like I felt like it stunted her while she was there because she was so still focused on her grief that maybe during she would have had time to get in the right headspace and been able to actually do this show so it, it would have been, been another person for david to thirst over and i would have been right there because you know how i feel about miss pixie pixie i love I pixie, have, pixie. I oh have a comment but i won't say it right now lana what do you okay. think of this promo or did we, are, are oh, me. On me to, oh i was like are y'all waiting on me to get my comments is that what's happening yeah we were waiting on you oh she's gorgeous i love this look I love the wig. I love the mug is great. I did look on her Instagram as well. Her mug is incredible. I love this. 
So, Tony, what do you think? So, I love that she represents uh, her drag aesthetic. She's like a clown, she mm -hmm. says. Like, she's, she's like very um, queen, a funny queen. Not like a comedy queen, but she's like very charismatic. And she is also a singer, so you can expect like if it is like a singing musical challenge, she's gonna kill it. Okay. Good. So my cup is full. All right. I mean it's full because I haven't drink any uh, anything from <laughs> this. <one. laughs> Okay, that's that's right. what okay, we do so here. We always we always show what we're drinking and then just don't drink most. Of okay, so <laughs> I I've had water throughout this entire podcast because I can't go a podcast without drinking water because my throat gets dry. Mm, fair. I'm coughing, so. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna give. The, oh, I'm so torn. Uh, I'm gonna give her a nine. I'll give her a ninety-five as well. Ninety-five as well. 95 as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're all the bad guys except for Tony. <laughs> wow. I'm very excited about her. I'm excited about her story. And yeah. I'm 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 excited to see how she does up against everybody else on this season. So absolutely. That's that. I only have a eight. question though. Yes. With the four of us here, are we drafting these girlies? because I think it would be fun to do. And that way we have to keep, that'll keep Tony interested in a and wanting to come back eventually to help us out continuously mm -hmm. and to know how they're doing in the draft. So Tony, would you be interested in drafting with us? Yeah. Great. Okay. I think we, it's time then. Can we put up the image with all of them on it again? I don't have their names memorized. Well, we definitely can do that. Yeah. Sure can. Sure can do. And while Lana, you're doing you doing that, I will do the you. random. Yep. Thank I you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I won't show my IP address this time. Please nope. don't. Nope. nope. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's. Uh, this group promo shot is so good. It's I'm still good. just like, ugh. The promo. It's so good. It's. Really good. Continue to talk about it though, because it's just taking a minute. They're gorgeous and stunning and yellow in the case of Seifer <laughs> and gold in the case of everybody else, except for so... Sora Nasty. But we know now why. But she's still kind of gold. <laughs> um, I do love that kind of everyone stands out in this for a different reason. And like the composition of this of this group shot. I know they're all like photoshopped in, but it's really good. Okay. Was that enough? Uh, <laughs> that was killing enough. time, Lana. Thank you. Yes, that was great. enough. Thank you. I will randomize this list four times for the four of us. Okay, great. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. What do we got? We have. I'm covering up my idea. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, that's that's disrespectful to Tony. David, Lana, Logan, Tony. Uh, that's uh, look, that's hey, the randomizer. I can't. And that means Tony gets two back to back. Tony picks. gets two back to back picks. Oh, he gets his two together. Mm -hmm. So, but I. Hi, right, David. But I'm going first, and I'm going to be very disrespectful I'm to Tony to, and all of you I'm going to because you. I'm going to cut you if you do it. I I'm going to take me some seafur. I hate you! <laughs> I hate you yeah. so much, and you know you? Yeah. You know what? See, this This is called grounds for divorce. This is ah! for divorce, David. Not this. This is the second time you have done no third time you have done this to me three strikes you are out buddy i i can't are you gonna use a trap door i i, I don't even have time for Good. that i'm just gonna yeah. ignore you from this point on all right all right all right that's fine 
That's fine. I am going to go with my fashion girly, Miss So Nasty. Miss Nasty, I'm taking you because you. Oh, I'm not. Sora, if you're nasty. Sora, if you're nasty. But <laughs> Miss Nasty is who I'm taking. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to take a huge risk here. I'm taking Velveteen. Ooh. I have faith. I have faith. So. All right, Tony. You get four and five. So oh. You get both of your picks. So right I get now. to pick two right now? Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, you took two of my favorites, so. <laughs> Oops. Um, maybe I'll take Madison. Okay. okay. And mm, I'm between Guajardo. Oh, Velveteen is already chosen. Yes. So Guajardo. Oh, wonderful. Good choice. Okay. I. Huh. I'm going to believe in the heart of the fan favorite. And I'm picking Georgiana as my final pick. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm Lana. We're getting some eye candy on our team. <laughs> I, <laughs> Either yeah. way, and right, I'm Lana. going to take Miss Serena. Okay, come on over, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> Great choices. Great yeah. choices. Mm-hmm. Beautiful gowns. Love the gowns. So Lovely. that is that. We have a premiere coming up next week. Yep. Um, on the 19th. I forgot what day it was. Um, yes. We have a premiere on March 19th, which means we will be back shortly after that to talk about the premiere of Solo Las Mas. Tony, thank you for coming here and giving us all of the information we could have ever needed and more. We appreciate I do have, you. I have a question. If we want to talk about it, do we know anything about the format of this season? Oh. I know some tea about that. So, La Mas Draga is like, mm, fans make fun of the producers because they say like, oh, our show is inspired by like Mario Party uh, games. So, the the format for All Stars, I mean, for Solo Las Mas is like a kind of Mario Party game, Ooh. but it is like an All Stars 7 format that you will have, I think, uh, some kind of stars. Uh, but I think instead of blocking queens, they steal stars from them. It's the, uh, it's the things that fans have been saying about the format. Okay. okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. So it, it sounds like in, instead of eliminations, they use star point systems, maybe? Yeah. And stars? Oh, yeah, because oh. that's how that's how um, Drag Race All Star Seven was, where oh, no God. one went home, and it was all like a point system. And oh, allegedly, God. we're going to see that format again here sometime very soon on our televisions. So, right. do we so know like, episode count by any chance? Yeah, do we know how many? Um, I think the finale was like in May or June, so okay. it's like more than. Six episodes, but less than ten, I guess. Okay. Okay. And like each host will be hosting one season, and I think uh, there might be other hosts that might host like two or three other episodes. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, all of this has me excited, <laughs> so I'm excited nonetheless. But with that being said. Unless we have any other questions. I don't know. (laughs) With that being said, let us know in the comments, who are you rooting for? What else should we know about these queens going into this season? Again, Tony, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you very, very much. Um, Thank you. And yeah, make sure to subscribe on your way out. If you have not already, like the video, um, do all the lovely things, hit all the buttons down below, except for the dislike. Don't hit that one. Um, you can also go follow us on our social media at the cup pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Hit all the links down below, uh, including getting your merch. Cause I think we ship 
in North America, which means we should ship to Mexico. Absolutely. Hopefully. So with all that being said, cheers. 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 Where's that possum cup? Oh, <laughs> um, we, missed we missed it. Goodbye. Adios. Bye. Adios. Bye. Bye. Bye.